iPad in education. What can you do with iPad in education? Okay. So this will be a very simple demo session. The whole objective is to get you, is to get your hands, uh, get your body wet, to let you have a, a, a understanding or to let you have an introduction of what the iPad can do in your classroom. Now, when you are going through the demo, it is advisable that you actually look at two point of views. One is from your own point of view as a teacher. Second point of view is you can actually look from your student's point of view as a student. How they're going to use it to learn, or how you're going to use it to teach. You can look at it in two point of views. All right. So first off, <clears throat> these are the things that we'll be covering today. Just take note of the middle part of it. We'll be doing combining text and graphics in the first one. Very simple. And then we'll be going through manipulation of sound. This is where we we'll enjoy music, and this is where I also will test your teamwork in this class. And finally, we will go through multimedia presentation. Okay? Any question? Or oh, not challenging enough for you? <laughs> okay, so what are the iPad features mainly for education? First off, you have books. Like one lady said just now, you use it for books, reading books. So you have a lot of books available online that you can get and directly downloadable, downloadable into your iPad. And then we have as for last I checked, we have uh, 800,000 apps in the App Store for you to download and for you to use for your education purposes or any other purposes. So this is what I think most of the lecturers or most of the teachers these days like to know. How can I use it as a class teaching instrument or tool? Now, how do I send my iPad image to the projector? How do I teach? Now, I have two methods for you. Number one, you can actually see on the picture here, you have one cable. So this is method number one, you use cable. We have, I, have, I have here one cable example. This is the old cable. As of the new iPad, it is already using the new connector called the lightning connector, small one. This is still running on the old connector, which I think your iPad is running on the old connector. This is 30 pin, very big. Okay? So this one will go into your iPad. And the end part here will go into your projector. And then you will get an image on your projector. Automatic, you don't have to uh, tell it to go to the screen. And then now I'm going to show you, there's another thing called uh, airplane mirroring. Just now this one is called mirroring. Okay, so now I'm going to show you airplane mirroring. So to have airplane mirroring, number one is you have to have a Wi-Fi environment. Second, after you have Wi-Fi environment, the next thing you need to do is you must have this thing, this black box, called Apple TV. Alright? If you have these two both, like I have set up here, the white box below is for me to have Wi-Fi, and the black box above is for me to do airplane mirroring. So what I do on my iPad, I have an iPad here, is I connect to the Wi-Fi, and then I just activate the Airplane mirroring. Yeah. So with this functionality, I can actually take the iPad and walk around the room. I don't need to stay in front there. If I'm, my iPad is connected to the cable, I have to stay in front. So now I can actually move around and I can actually show you something. Um, let's say I go to camera. See, I can show you life when I move around. And what's best is you can actually have, okay, this I'm quite lucky here. I can actually show applications. Let's say I take for instance maps. I've got no internet connection here. <coughs> okay. So let's say I want to show calendar. I can show the whole class what am I reading now? Okay, please, again, okay, tell the whole class, please look at Friday, blah, 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 blah. And just now you see I'm front there, now I'm on the left side. So this is airplane mirroring. So if you may have questions for airplane mirroring, you can ask me towards the end of the class, or if you have any questions at all, I will open Q&A at the end of the class, so you can ask. So you may want to jot out any questions that you have during the session. 
Okay, so are we prepared to go? Are we prepared to go? <laughs> okay, so first off, I need you to be familiar with yourself with the iPad. You first off, you have to make sure for those who have not interfaced with iPad before, your iPad has to be switched on first. Okay, if you think the iPad totally black out, no screen, let me know. Anyone? Are you okay? Huh? Okay, so first thing first, please go to camera app. Camera app is on your first page, and how do you know whether you're on the first page or not? Look at, there's a dog down here. Dots. These dots will tell you which page you are on. Tap on it 
and create document. Then you will see this screen where they give you a lot of option themes. Please select blank. Do you have this one? If you do not have this one, what you do is you take one finger, just tap on the small ruler to drop this one down. If you already have this one, it's okay. Make sure you have it. Okay, now what I need you to do is you just tap on the paper or the area here and then write your name. Just a short name will do, you don't need to write your entire full name. Somebody's name is like five, six seconds long. Okay, once you have your name ready, Okay, next what I need you to do is you take one finger, tap and hold on your name until you see there's a magnifying glass pop up. Do not let go. Do you see magnifying glass? Okay, now you let go. Okay, and then you will see options. Select, select all, right? Anyone didn't get select, select all? If you see select, select all, I want you to tap on select. If you didn't highlight all of your name, you will see there is a dot, blue dot on top and below. Just tap on the blue dot and drag and to highlight all your name. Anyone has problem with this? Don't be shy. Okay, I'm assuming everyone, everyone is okay. Huh? Okay, so next I want you to go uh, look up with the your name still highlighted in blue. Look up here, you will see there's a big A and a small A with a number in the middle. This is to set font size. Tap on that and select 36 or above. The bigger the better, but not too big. After you set the font, go to the right, you will see this icon here, this one. Tap on this one and select center. Okay. You guys are awfully quiet. Big letter, right? Yes. Now go to the media tab or edition. There's a plus button up here. Plus medias or plus objects. So when you tap on this, please look for media tab. When you're in media tab, please yes. tap on the camera roll and then you will see your photo that you have taken just now. If you do not see your photo, let me know. Okay, so once you see your photo, Select any of the photo, just tap on the photo and the photo will jump into the work area or your pages here. And if you think that your photo is too big, okay, you just tap on the photo, you will see blue dots on all of the angles. Just tap on the edge and then just pull in or pull out to adjust the size. And to move it, just tap in the middle and move it around.
adjust the picture accordingly in your document so you feel that it's, it looks nice. Press the button. 